welcome back to C-Suite. My name is Crystal and in today's video I thought it would be cool to give you an overview of my office slash workspace. So this is where I work from home but also where I run C-Suite. So this is an overview of my office space and I'm standing right now with my back against the wall. So we're going to start right over here on the left hand side and the first thing you see is this really pretty dream catcher that I got from TJ Maxx. And then right next to that, I have these two floating shelves. These are from Ikea. And on the top one, I have some of my Starbucks cups. And then on the bottom one, we have some glitters. And then right underneath that, I have these two pegboards that are also from Ikea. And in them, I have some of the tools that I use to make my planner clips and planner charms. So you can see in this one, I just have some paper clips. And then in one of the other ones over here, I have some jump rings and some lobster clasps. I actually need to get some more of these containers, but this is what we have for now. And then right underneath that, I have this bench. The bench is from Marshalls. And then the pillow that I have on there is from Ross. Right underneath that is a basket that I got from Target. And inside the basket, I just have some throw blankets. I'm in a basement, and so it gets really cold down here. So I like to have some blankets to throw over my legs. And then on the side of that, I have this planter from H&M. I actually need to find a plant for it that's not too big so it doesn't get in the way of the door. But for now, it's just there empty. And then we move on to this. So right next to my bench, I have this Right here, I actually got this as a gift for my husband, so I'm not sure where it's from. But on top of it, I have my Cricut machine. And then right underneath that, I have these two IKEA bins here. And in those, I have some metal reusable straws that are available on my website. And then this is some tissue paper that I use to pack some of my larger orders. And then underneath that, I have a microwave. So fun fact, I used to have another business called Pink Elf and for that business, I made soap, bath bombs, lotion, that sort of a thing. And so I had a microwave down here so I could melt my butters and things like that before I made those products. I don't have the business anymore, but I still have the microwave. So I thought about getting rid of it, but for now, I still have it in here. Next to that, we have me. And that is a closet back there. We are not going into the closet, okay? <laughs> then next to that, I have my planner cart. And the planner cart itself is from Michael's. And on the top rack, I have my planner covers. If you've seen any of my previous videos, then you have seen flip throughs of both of these. And then I have some of my Villa Beautiful pins. Love Villa Beautiful pins. And then in this container, I have other pins. I have highlighters, markers, that sort of a thing. And then over here, I have my hole punch that I use to punch things that go in my ring planners. I have my corner rounder. I have some extra planner charms from the Peach Palmetto. So these are the ones I don't currently have in a planner. I just have them right there. I have white out. I have some double-sided tape. And then on the next rack, I have some sticker books from Simply Gilded. I have some tins from Simply Gilded. And then I have some of my Simply Gilded washi on this here. This does not hold all of my washi, but this is some of it. I actually need to get another one of these. And then on the bottom shelf down here, I have more pouches and sticker books from Simply Gilded. And then I have this box right here, which holds extra planner stickers or leftover stickers from kits. And then in that down there, I have extra covers for my Erin um, Condren notebooks and planners. Then right here, I have this trash can. It says Trash Talk. I got this from Home Goods. So I just have that right there. It's more for decoration. I actually don't use that for trash. And then we come over to this corner right here. So on the top here, I have my bag. I use this mostly when I go into the office. Um, but for now, it's really just up here for decoration because I don't go in the office much anymore. And then underneath that, I have my inkjet printer. This one is the HP Photo Smart 5522. I have no issues with this printer. I love it. And underneath that, I have a laser printer. This one is the Color Laser Jet Pro M180. I don't really care for that printer. It is a wireless printer and it disconnects from the internet all the time. So to get it to work, you have to keep restarting the printer and it's just annoying. So I don't like that printer, but 
I already have it, so it's just sitting over there. Now we are moving on to my desk space, so I'll give you an overview of what that area looks like. And I'm going to start up on the wall. So I have this picture right here. It says, I believe in pink. I got that from uh, five below. And then next to that, I have this weekly planner. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I don't actually use it, though, because um, it's so far away, I can't actually reach it. So it's really just up there for decoration. The white thing here on the end, that is an eraser. And then I have two journaling cards up there. This one on this end is from Sweet Ava's Paper. The pink one is from Simply Gilded. And then both of the magnets are from Sweet Ava's Paper. And then right above that, I have my pen board. So this has most of the pens that are available in my shop right now. And then the pin board itself, I actually got a long time ago from Target. And right next to that, I have my calendar. This is the calendar from Coco Michelle Illustrations. I've gotten this calendar every year for like the last four years. I love them. And now we're on to the desk itself. So the desk I actually got from the thrift store. Cost me about $10. And then I recently went to Amazon got me some contact paper and wrapped it in white to kind of give it a refresh. So guys, let me know if that looks good or what do you think? And then I also put new handles on it and I got those from Home Depot. So now on to what's on the desk. On this side, I have my thermal printer. This is the Faux Memo brand. I got this from Amazon. And then I have this holder back here that holds my shipping labels and these stickers that I use for packaging. So I'll print both of these using this printer right here. And then behind that, I have this vase. The vase itself is from H&M, and then the flowers I've got from Michaels. And then this side of the desk, I call my personal side. So I have my personal monitor. This is a 32 inch Acer that I got from Nebraska Furniture Mart. And then underneath it, I have a portable speaker and then my external hard drive. And then I have my computer. This is a MacBook Air. And of course, I have my keyboard and mouse right there. And then this is my Canon IV2. This is used to print photos from your phone. I love this. I use it all the time. Right next to that, I have this paperclip decor piece that I got from Target. In another picture frame also from Target. This clear thing right here is a paperweight that I got from a family reunion a few years ago. I also have this um, coaster that I got from Amazon. I love them. I think they fit my theme in here really cute. This bunny right here is actually my phone holder. And then we have this side of the desk which is my work side. So the monitors, the keyboard, and the laptop are all from my full-time job. So on the base of this one, I have these glasses. They are from Home Goods. The bow in the back is from Simply Gilded. And then the heart in the front says, Grow Where There's Water. It actually came in a wholesale order that I got. And I just have it right there for a little bit of inspiration. I have this K mug that I got from Target. And then next to that, I have this queen bowl. It's actually a cat bowl that I got from... TJ Maxx, but I use it for candy. And then behind that is an organizer also from Target. Um, on the bottom of this computer, I have my Simply Gilded Junipers. Super cute. Um, the moon down there is an enamel pen also from Simply Gilded. And then next to that, I have my wax warmer. I got that from Amazon. And then I have some pens that I use for work on a regular basis. The holder that it is on is from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this here. This is a laptop stand. So on the weekends, I will put my laptop in there so I can have more desk space. And then I have my daily planners. So these are the ones I use most often. They're always on my desk. This is my Hobonichi Weeks. It is my personal daily planner. And then I have my work planner, which is the Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo. And then I have an Erin Condren notebook down here as well that I also use for work. And then we're on to this area over here. So in the corner, I have a mini fridge. 
I've had it so long I don't remember where I got it from, but I'm going to guess probably from Amazon. And then underneath here, I have some wax that I use in my wax warmer. So I just have that organized under there. And then in the corner, I have this flower that I got from a local flea market. So let me step back here and show you an overview of this wall. So let's talk about the big thing, and that is the mural on the wall. So like I said, I used to have a soap making business called Pink Elf. And when I first moved into this house, I had my good friend AJ from Designs by Avrion come over and paint me a mural on my wall. And so I don't have Pink Elf anymore, but I really like my mural. So I'm wondering if I should leave it or if I should have her come paint me a new one for C-Suite. Let me know what you think down below. So that's what that is. I know you probably see that in some of my videos and wonder what's on the wall. So that is my mural. And then over here, I have my inventory shelf. So this has most of the small inventory that I have available in my shop right now. So for example, we have some of these mini notebooks. This is a three pack and they each say something different on them. So this one says, get it girl. We also have these book buddies, which I think are so cute. So they are page flags, but they're shaped like different foods. So this one's breakfast, you got your coffee, your bacon, and your eggs. And so you just write on them and stick them in your notebooks. Super cute. Another one that we have of those is this one. So you have some sushi and stuff like that on this one. And that is what I have on this shelf. If you'd like me to go in more detail about what's on this shelf, let me know. I'd be happy to film another video on that. And then we have this table right here. So the table itself I got from the thrift store. And you will see that I actually use this table. So it is used and abused. There are stains and things spilled on it. We actually use this table around here. I thought about covering it in white like my desk. But I really don't see the point because I'm probably just going to mess it up. So it's brown for now. So on this side over here, I have my sublimation printer. And then on top of that, I have these two organizers from Target. And in those, I have most of the supplies that I use for shipping. So I have my thank you cards. I have some cello bags. I have my free stickers that I give in each order right there. And then next to that, I have my heat tape that I use for sublimation. And then also a lint roller also used for sublimation. And then in this container right here, I have some ribbon that I use for my planner clips and my planner charms. And then underneath that is some vinyl. Can't have a craft space without some paper towels. <laughs> so move that out of the way. And then we have this organizer right here. The organizer itself I got from the thrift store. And on top of it, I have these two vases right here. They are both from H&M. This right here is actually a gift from a co-worker who went to India and brought me that back as a gift. And then I have my girl boss sign right here. I got that from Home Goods. My light board back there that says C-Suite is from a local store we have here called It's $5. And then I have this really cute bicycle that I got from TJ Maxx that I have just tucked back there. And then these beads, I think I also got these from TJ Maxx. Right next to that is this vase, also from TJ Maxx. And then I have this um, hourglass that I got from Ross. So now moving on to what is actually inside the organizer. In this first section here, I just have some extra things. So I have extra thank you cards. I have shipping supplies that I don't use in every order. So for example, I have like these care cards for tumblers so this wouldn't go in every order only if you ordered a tumbler so I have those kind of tucked away over here and then these are for a new product to come into the shop so keep an eye out for that underneath that I have these straws these are what I provide with my tumblers and then I have this here which is actually going to be a giveaway item when I reach 100 subscribers on YouTube so keep a lookout for that in the next section, I have my packing tape and I have some sponges to wet the tape with. Here on top, I have some planner clips and charms that I actually need to fold and put together. So if you've never seen some of my planner charms or planner clips, this is an example of one of the outsides and then the inside would be covered in glitter. And so they're all different colors. I just need to make these 
Um, and then in these, I have some freebies. So right now on my website, if you spend $35, you get a free mystery bow clip. And so I have those in here. Um, and they are ones that are not available on the website. So it'll be a complete mystery. They won't be ones you actually can buy. Down here, I have some silicone straw tips. These go on the metal straws that I have available on the website. I just already have them packaged. So when I get an order for one, I can just grab it quickly and put it in the order. And then next to that, I have some of my most frequently used tools. So I have a ruler, I have a rotary blade, scissors, I have some super glue, I have some pliers in different sizes. There are more paper clips back there, just a variety of different tools that I may need the most frequently. And then underneath that, I have some of my felt paper clips. So I have these, these are um, chocolate chip cookies. And then I have like this one, this is some avocado toast. So I have another one like these or some Starbucks cups. So I just have different felt clips in there that are already made and ready to be packaged. And then this is an example of one of the finished boat clips that I just showed you. This is what it would look like. And it's all done so these are ready to be packaged as well right here i have some sublimation designs that i've already cut and printed and cut so when i get an order for those i can quickly just put them on the cup and then i have this section over here so this is my hot tool section i have a heat gun i have my impulse sealer i have my hot glue gun back there this is a paper cutter and then underneath that, I have more paper clips that are ready to be packaged. So here's an example of another one. This one is actually made out of vinyl. And it has a leopard print design on it. So I'm ready to pack those up. And then I have my shipping scale right there. And then on the table itself, I have more bows that I need to make. As well as my UV lamp and my mini iron from Cricut. Then we have this corner right here where I just store my lights and my tripod. As you see, my office is really stuffed right now, so I'm using every space that I can. And so this is just where I have them for now. And if they're in the way, I just move them out of the way to get into this corner over here. So this last station that we have over here is actually my cup making station. So on the top up here, I have my sublimation press that I use for making my coffee mugs. And then on this side, I have my tumbler turner that I use for making my glitter tumblers. So here are some of the glitter tumblers that I've already made. I need to package some of these up. Some of these are for me, like this one right here on the end. This is a project that I started and never finished. If you are a crafter, you know about that. These are available um, on my website if you're interested. Um, they're not painted and they don't have the crystals, but if you just want to clear one, those are available on my website. And then I have my Ikea nine drawer over here. So let's go over what's on the top. So I have this plant up here. The plant is from Home Goods. The picture frame is from Target. And then I have this coaster. It is from Simply Gilded. And then this is actually a diffuser that I got from Home Goods years ago. And it's so cute, I just couldn't throw it away. So I just have it sitting up here for decoration. And then next to that, I have a Bath & Body Works candle and then another candle that is sitting on a Bath & Body Works candle holder. Now moving on to the nine drawer itself. Like I said, I used to make soap. And so I have a lot of colorants and glitters and things like that in here. A lot of these can be used for more than just soap, which is why I still have them. So this is just full of those sorts of supplies. And then a little bit further down, I also have supplies that I use for tumblers down there as well. And then the last thing I have in this office are my Abbott Lion totes. So I really love these because you can customize them with your initials right there. You can get up to three initials. And then I really like this chain detail on them too. So I have the black one and then the cream one up there. I like using them for planner stuff, but I also like to just use them as a handbag because they're so cute. And that, so that is everything that I have in my office. 
I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing about my office was. Or if there's anything that you want me to go into more detail about, make sure you comment that below as well. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Bye.